So a great common question is how to create a duct between shapes like these. And uh, hopefully in the end of the video, you will be able to create lots of different kinds. So if I begin with the most uh, uh, easy one here and try to loft between these, it won't work at all. So we get this error message. Uh, that doesn't make much sense. So if I cancel that and if if I create bodies uh, that looks like this instead, I can loft between those profiles and it will work perfectly. So the difference is just uh, that these profiles had holes in them and these didn't. So okay here and then use uh, shell you'll find it down here in the uh, modify menu and select the faces we want to open so top face of course and down here whoops didn't mean to create any sketches here And you can drag this arrow, or you can just uh, set the thickness here. And for the next one, these are uh, just uh, two circular shapes that are a bit offset. And here we will create a bent duct. So, loft between these two. And let's say I want it to be smooth here. Then I can change where it says connected to curvature on both of those. And it gets this, this uh, smooth transition. And then just shell it. So for this one, same thing. And in fact, I want to make these corners a bit rounded. I think uh, the surface looks much better that way. And set it to curvature. And then you can play along with uh, this these uh, arrows for each profile but if you don't get uh, quite the uh, shape you want we can also help it with some guide rails here so we haven't got any guide rails so let's create them i first want to create a construction plane mid plane These faces. Oops, I haven't got construction visible. And sketch on that. So uh, now I need a line here to grab onto, and a line here to grab onto for my, my sketch lines. So project include intersect and when I hover above the surfaces uh, I get the preview of what will be created one red line here and one red line down there and same over here okay so our uh, sketch now looks uh, like just some lines here. And we can connect them with fit on spline. And manipulate uh, the handles. I want 
this to be just uh, straight up like so and another line between these two Can I select you? Yes. No, it was already set to be straight. Okay. So now I got my guide rails. So to select them, I go here and click on those rails I created. And as you see, uh, the shape follows that curvature. And shell it out. So uh, next example will be a little bit more tricky because in the other examples I gave a loft a bit of space between but uh, here it will get really tight so let's try this I can loft between them and let's see if it works when I select curvature Sometimes you will have to play with these to make it work. In this case, it worked uh, from the start. And if I try to shell this out, I think I will get into problem because of this uh, tight bend here. So I will not try that. And if you run into trouble uh, doing that, you can make this uh, approach, uh, do this approach instead. So uh, we go to surface and create offset. I want to select uh, these faces uh, here. So uh, from here. But I don't want front face. And I also want this face down here. And offset it uh, inside here. So let's say minus two. Now I got uh, these surface bodies inside of my solid. And I can try lofting between these. I've got change selection here to select uh, this whole profile. And like so. And here I can apply curvature. Looks like it works nice. And now I've got these three surface bodies. So to make them one, just uh, select them and stitch. So now they've got one. Bring back uh, our solid body. And in modify, split body. Body to split is our solid body and splitting tool will be this uh, surface body. So as you see, I now get uh, two solid bodies. We can get rid of uh, the surface. And let's see, this is the one we want to get rid of. So, uh, this is the one we want to keep. And this is the one we want to remove. So there you got that one. 
So if you get run into trouble either by, or with uh, the regular uh, loft or with uh, the shell when you're doing it, you can try this approach. And for the last one. This is meant to be a three-way duct, so I just uh, made, made this uh, like in the, the earlier examples. And then uh, make a circular pattern on the body. Around this axis. And there are now three bodies, so we want to combine them. And if you run into trouble here, uh, I find uh, that the not all, this is not always work. Try combining just two first and the third together with the one you first created. And we don't want to keep tools. So, and we can make a little fillet in, inside here. And then for the shell, and we want to open up those uh, faces. That's it for now. See you.